Magnaflex introduces the M2000 series of mobile power packs, which includes the M2040, M2060, and M2030 for long cable output models. These units provide low voltage, high amperage, single phase, half wave direct current and alternating current for magnetization purposes and decaying alternating current for demagnetization. The new 2000 series generation provides multiple advantages over our older M500 series of units. One of them is the digital amperage display which holds the last value making it easier to ensure proper current amount was delivered. The front panel of the mobile power pack has the convenient controls with amperage display, push buttons, 115 volt convenience outlet, current output adjustment knob, remote control receptacle, and copper bus bar outputs. Push buttons are used to turn the unit on, to choose current type, activate magnetization or demagnetization, and to enable the pulse function. The amperage could be adjusted by the current control knob with lockable dial or by the remote pendant when it is connected to the unit. Current value is shown as digital display which is saved till the next magnetizing shot for reference. The unit offers a 115 volt convenience outlet which could be used to power a handheld black light for example. It could also be utilized for other devices that draw less than 10 amperes of current. Another great advantage of the M2000 series units is that they offer solid state switching which requires the cables for high current to be connected only once. There is no need to switch connections when different type of current or demagnetization is required. The unit can be hoisted up by two lifting brackets in the front of the unit. There are two additional lifting brackets in the rear of the power pack. Hoisting the power pack is useful when accessing high elevations with assistance by crane or when simply lifting it onto the truck bed for transportation. After the unit is correctly connected to the appropriate voltage, the operating manual should be studied carefully, the power is turned on by flipping the disconnect switch on the back panel of the power pack. Following the switching of the disconnect lever on the power pack, the power on indicator light comes on on the front panel. It has to be followed by pushing the on off button on the front panel of the unit. This sequence will enable the remaining circuits to be activated. Four aught cables of appropriate lengths are connected to the pair of copper bus bars with appropriate hardware. If those cables could be utilized in various ways of providing magnetization, then this is the only connection to the power pack that is needed. Switching cable connections to change current type is no longer necessary with the 2000 series of mobile power packs. The cable wrap method should include making a minimum of three loops around a given part. It is important to make sure that connection points, if existing, of cables do not come in contact with the part to be tested. Please note that the cable wrap will need to be done in multiple sections for longer parts. If either end types of connections are used, they are attached to each other by sliding one into another and a slight twist to engage the locking mechanism. Now the part is ready for longitudinal magnetization to be performed. We are demonstrating the effects of magnetization by using one of our magnetic flux indicators and a wet method with black particle type 7HF. Three distinct horizontal lines can be seen using this method. Dry particles could also be utilized and they are available in light gray, black, red, and yellow colors and should be chosen by the contrast present when compared to the tested surface. The usage of wet fluorescent particles would give the users the most sensitivity, especially for finding surface discontinuities when used with appropriate UV light source. For convenience, the wet fluorescent particles could be used in aerosol form and in both water or oil-based type depending on the inspector's preference. For circular magnetization, Magnaflux offers various prod sets for a quicker way of attaching to cables that could be provided with a lug to the either end adapters as shown. The prod with the trigger button needs to be connected to the remote control receptacle on the front panel of the M unit. That action is followed by making four aught cable connections to both prod handles by plugging in respective either ends. The prod set is ready to be used now for circular magnetization. 
In order to free the operator's one hand, the magnetic leech could be utilized. Its permanent magnet makes possible to provide proper contact with the metal part to be tested. It is equipped with a handle and easy to use either end connector. The prod has to make good contact with the part which is a little tricky with round surfaces as shown here. Improper angle or unstable holding can result in sparking and possible burn marks. When performed properly, the prod and leech combo is able to provide good magnetization and locate axial indications on a particular part. Changing orientation of the contact points will allow finding indications in other directions. The formation of indications on a magnetic flux indicator is demonstrated here. Prod magnetization is also possible to do with fluorescent particles. Here is an oil field type coupling used to show how the M unit could be used to perform a central conductor magnetization. This copper rod is actually resting on the bottom of the bore, but the field generated with current being sent through it is still strong enough to sufficiently magnetize the outside surface on the opposite side. The magnetic flux indicator is shown next to the QQI, or the quantitative quality indicator, which is available in several variations from Magnaflux. The QQI is an artificial defect. Here is a view of the previous actions from another angle to better illustrate the position of the central conductor. The current flow from the power pack can be triggered by pushing the mag button on the front panel. In most cases, it would be more practical to connect the remote pendant to the unit by simply plugging it into the control's receptacle. The front panel contains the MagShot button. Just above it is located the demagnetization button. This button is used to initiate automatic demagnetization accomplished by the decaying of alternating current, and it lasts just a few seconds. For choosing the desired form of current, there is an AC button and, right below, the half-wave DC button. After pressing any of them, the buttons will light up, signifying which type of current is available. Even when the DC type is chosen, there is no need to switch the unit to AC for demagnetization. Pressing the DMAG button starts the AC demagnetization cycle, and then it switches back to DC again. Our mobile power packs are equipped with pulse function. When pulse function is activated by pressing the pulse button, that button stays lit. To trigger the pulse, one needs to press the MAG button. The pulse function consists of six shots of 1.5 seconds duration, with three second pauses. The 115 volt convenience outlet could be used for powering Magnaflux's EV5000 LED type black light. This light is in itself one of our latest offerings and it satisfies the needs of the latest requirements for NDT. Once the remote control pendant with its 15 foot long cord is connected to the receptacle on the front panel, it takes over the control of the amperage provided. It disables the functionality of the knob on the front of the power pack. As you can see, it does not matter where the position of that knob is, it has no effect on the amount of amperage. Here is the continuous on-off switch, which when flipped will keep the current flowing as long as it is in that position. A reminder to the operator to turn this switch off before going on a prolonged break, as it could lead to melting of cables or lugs. The MagShot button is situated here, and when pressed, it activates the current flow for as long as it is held down. The demagnetization button is to the right of it, and it only requires an initial momentary push to start the automatic decay of current for demag. The buttons for choosing the current type between half-wave DC and AC are at the top of the remote pendant. The only thing that the remote pendant does not have is the pulse feature enable button which is only present on the front of the power pack. Initiation of the pulse cycle can still be done with the mag button on the pendant for convenience. The pulse cycle could be interrupted by pressing the pulse push button on the operator interface panel. After turning the power to the unit off with the rear switch, one can easily remove the side panels held by six latches that could be rotated with a flathead screwdriver. Removing the side covers gives the user easy access to the internal components including the transformer, the rectifier stack, the shunt, and the internal circuitry. It is recommended that maintenance and repair of Magnaflux units is only performed by qualified personnel. The rear of the power pack has convenient brackets for hanging the four aught cables. 
It also has another bracket for storing the heavy cord from the main power connection in case the power pack needs to be transported to a different location.